So I initially watched a video of Asmongold uh, where he called out um, a Twitch channel and they're also like a wiki page as well called Fextra Life or F Extra Life. I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced or how it's said. And basically this this website is, you know, a wiki, a wiki for all different games. So whatever game is, say like a game like Elden Ring, um, it has a wiki of all the information. It has like guides and all that kind of stuff. And first thing when I heard about this and I was searching it up and even in Asmund Gold's initial video that I watched on this, apparently their wiki is, first of all, really fucking trash. Like, apparently there's a lot of misinformation and apparently a lot of the stuff that they put on there is not very good and now other, rec other sites are recommended as well. And then the one thing and the reason why I'm really making this video is because on their website, they have their Twitch channel embedded on pretty much almost every single page. And whenever you click onto their website, the Twitch, the Twitch automatically plays and therefore it's counting as a view towards their Twitch which, you know, is not really a good thing. You know, the fact that you're embedding onto your website and especially the fact, the way that they're embedding is that they're not putting it on separate pages or they're not putting it as a big thing. Like, you know, you click on their page and it's like a massive thing. It sits right in the corner of the page. I'll probably show a screenshot now and I'm scrolling. I'll probably show a little screenshot now and I'm going to acknowledge the post that they're making um, about this as well. So as you can see, they're offline currently um, while I'm recording this, but... They're right there and it's such a small little section of this page and whenever you click on any page one it doesn't like you don't have to acknowledge to press play on it all you have to do is just click on the page and then it automatically starts playing so it just it just goes automatically and it counts as a view towards their twitch page and they've been called out, at least, I, I, I don't know if it's been called out multiple times, but obviously now the fact that they've been called out by Asmongold, who is a massive creator. Like, if, you don't, if, if you're on Twitch, and you, or you've been in the streaming side of things, and you, or content creation in general, and you don't know who Asmongold is, what the fuck are you doing? Asmongold is probably one of the biggest streamers, I'd say, ever on Twitch's platform. And he's called them out for viewbotting, which, rightfully so. And the reason why he's called them out for viewbotting is... Not just because of the embedding, but you know, whenever you go onto their onto their Twitch channel, every single time that they are streaming, they have minimum thirty thousand views every single time. Every single time that they're streaming, they have a minimum thirty thousand views. And you know, whenever you see someone with a channel of thirty thousand views, you know, that chat goes pretty fucking quick like even for people who have say like twelve thousand views the chat moves decently fast you have people constantly chatting and people going through you know for someone who's thirty thousand views thirty thousand views the chat goes insanely quick if you've ever been on someone like xqc's chat before where sometimes he has fifty thousand the chat goes so fast that you can't read anything now if you go on a fextra life stream their chat is comparable to someone with 200 views. So it's very obvious that, you know, they're getting views from this embedding or they're also getting views from view botting. Now, the reason why this is, you know, a really bad thing is because of the amount of views that they're getting, you know, and the more views that you get on Twitch, you're obviously going to be, you know, pushed into the front pages and on the top of the directory and you're taking someone's spot now this is just completely unfair because you know you're taking someone's spot away from the directory who's w actually worked hard for their views and worked hard to build a fan base a real good fan base who loves to chat and people who love to go into the views and actually get thirty thousand legitimate people into this into their chat and you're taking away someone else's spot who's generally trying to build an audience and someone for like myself it's not fucking easy it's not easy on youtube on twitch on tiktok on fucking any kind of social media these days it's extremely hard to build an audience the fact that these people are embedding such a little onto their website just to bump up their views and possibly also view body because to have constantly 30,000 views is a lot. Now, let's talk about this post that they made. So obviously when Asmongold talks about anything, especially something like this, and he's very, very thin on it, it's gonna, it's gonna, they're gonna have to mention it. Now, 
they only they only said that they're mentioning this once but Asmogold made another video about it and is why I'm also like, you know, making this video as well. I might be a small creator, but I'm going to get behind this because one, I love Asmogold and two, you know, I'm a small creator. And for me, you know, someone taking away that top spot, of course, that's not going to be me, at least in this point in time, but that's taking away a top spot from someone who actually fucking deserves it. Now, at first, you know, all about the false accusations. First off, they're saying um, Fashion Life is a large faceless company. Now, you know, if you click on their streams, it's just a lot of different people and there's not really a face on it. It's not like Linus, you know, Linus Tech Company, who's the first one that comes to mind with all the, you know, stuff that's going on. But that's a different story. I'm not talking about, you know, I'm not bringing up Linus because, you know, I think I'm just saying, you know, it's the first thing that came to my mind. When it comes to Linus, yeah, they're a big crew, but whenever you hear Linus or LTT, you automatically think of Linus. You think of that face. Now you think of Factual Life you don't think of a specific person. So one, your f company is faceless. Two, you know, and the big thing they're talking about is the view body. So, you know, obviously they explain here, and I'm going to put it on, up on screen this whole time while I'm talking about it, just so you can read it yourself, because um, I've already read it or watched Agon Gold about it, and yeah. So they obviously acknowledge what a view bot is, you know, and it's, it's basically just where, you know, you have tools or you use certain browsers where it just counts towards views on your stream. And it also tries to fool the advertisers because even though, you know, you're view botting and they're not real people, it's still counting towards the ad revenue. So you're still fooling the advertisers and the ads are still getting viewed. They say here that, you know, that like any integration, the object is to get them to click and go to Twitch. So why isn't there just a link then? You know, if your object is for people to click and go to Twitch, why not just a link or something promoting streams? Why do you have to fully embed your stream and not even you know, make it people that where they have to click it for it to play or to actually go into it when you're just embedding just for views? It's, 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 it's very, very obvious that, you know, you're not just putting it there to integrate it for people to go to your streams. No, you're putting it there to integrate it so that you get more views. And I like how this person you know, in this, they're saying, um, what embedding does for me is make my website audience aware I'm a person, I'm streaming and I can show them games that I think that might be interested in. Now, this is a little bit contradictory of them constantly saying me, 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 me. Like this is just one person. You go back to saying it's a team and then you're saying it's just you, where if you go, onto their Twitch and you go into their recent streams, it's different people. So stop saying that it's just you and then saying it's a team. Which one is it, buddy? Is it you or is it team? I like how they also go into detail saying that, you know, we're trying to get people onto Twitch. Like Twitch doesn't, like Twitch needs, you know, the traffic that you get from your website. And I searched up how much traffic these guys get. And it did surprise me, surprisingly, you know, and at least with, you know, this whole view botting and embedded thing, it could be fake, but I went onto a website, similar web, and I searched up, you know, what their views would be, just because I was very, very curious of how much views they get onto their website. Like, you know, just to determine, are they getting enough views that correlate with the views on their Twitch? Or, you know, are they actually view botting on their Twitch? But supposedly they, they got, at least in the month of July, they got 40 million total visits onto their website. And their global ranking at the moment is 1,358. And their annual revenue is somewhere between 15 million to 25 million, which is absolutely fucking crazy. Like, that's a lot of views. And, you know, I mean, props to them, supposedly, for getting all those views. But, you know, the word of, you know, their, their wiki not being so good is going around a lot. I like how also when it comes to them acknowledging about this factual life is view body thing, they say their embed is no means a secret and it's very visible. Your embed is not fucking very visible. Your embed is so small that literally the advertisement that is above the embedding in this post is bigger than your embedded fucking Twitch channel. And one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video as well is that it's not just a big problem in terms of, you know, these people are taking a directory spot away from someone who actually fucking deserves it instead of you just embedding, on, embedding it into your website or possibly even, you know, viewbotting, which at this point, it wouldn't fucking surprise me because, you know, and you might also say that, you know, oh, viewbotting, is it really possible? Like you might be that one of those people and it fucking is. Viewbotting and followbotting is extremely fucking possible. Me, I was streaming the other day, a few days ago, and some fuckwit 
and, and it's not good for my channel and it's not good for anyone's channel but i got fucking follow spammed by bots and it pissed me the fuck off because they're not real i don't want all those follows from you from from fake people and not real people now it's not just a good thing it's not just a bad thing the fact that they're taking this top spot away from someone who actually fucking deserves it and not some scum who's just embedding it onto their website just to feed in views into their streams to bump it up to a top spot but I was watching Asmund Gold's video and if you want to you can go into his channel and he goes into a little bit more detail about it I just want to make this video because I just want to you know stand up and support you know Asmund Gold a little bit more and you know try to bring more light to this you know in, in any way that I possibly can this is not a good thing just for just for creators apparently this is also a bad thing in terms of advertisements because they're faking some of their views and these advertisers they they don't they don't realize this whole embedding and view botting kind of thing all they do is that they just see someone with a lot of views on their channel and a lot of followers and they will just pump money into that person and then you know they will oversaturate and before you know it instead of you having to like wait for eight ads on your fucking Twitch stream, before you know it, you'll be having to wait for 12. And you'll be seeing ads popped up all below someone's Twitch streams. And this embedding problem, especially with, you know, Factual Life, it's just been become more of an issue. And if Twitch, Twitch doesn't do something about it, it honestly could get worse. It could get to the point where multiple people start doing embedments, especially when it comes to certain websites. You know, there could be more forums out there like factual life who see what they're doing and think you know what we're gonna do the exact same thing because twitch is not doing anything about it so now we're gonna embed a twitch stream onto our forums or wiki or website or whatever the fuck it may be we're gonna embed that and then we're gonna fake all of our views and then we're gonna get advertisers to pay us because we're faking our views and stealing advertisements away from someone else and just oversaturating the audience that is supposedly watching them with all these fucking advertisements and then their their stream is just going to be filled with so many fucking ads from just this person it feels it honestly feels like the adpocalypse from south park south park it was fucking right if you watch the adpocalypse fucking arc from south park that's what this feels like it's going to end up being and as my talks about this video he doesn't go into too much detail so and you know he's in that scene so he obviously knows a lot what's going on me who's obviously nowhere near it i don't really know but he also got another expert who was who was in his stream talking about it. and saying that asthma gold's right it's just gonna this is just gonna not just be bad for creators but it's gonna be bad for viewers and it, the advertisements are just gonna oversaturate the market and then you might also be asking hey donnie why doesn't why isn't twitch doing anything about this because twitch don't give a shit twitch has never twitch in recent times i, I really think that when the main co-founders you know stopped you know actually contributing to twitch and twitch just became a whole bunch of old people in their fucking 60s with their suits sitting in a fucking little circle table that's when it started becoming about greed and that's all they give a shit about you want to know why because even though that these that it's view bodied or embedment ads are still getting viewed you know when a channel's view bodied it still tricks the ads that they are being viewed and if you're embedding onto a website and you have ads under your twitch it still counts as you know you having a view and your channel getting viewed and those advertisements that are sitting underneath your twitch as getting viewed so you're faking all these views and faking ad revenue for twitch and for yourself so twitch don't give a shit because they're still getting the ad revenue. They're still getting all these ads viewed. Twitch is just greedy. All they give a fuck about is money. They do not care about their about their content creators. And they've shown it in recent times. Like, thank God for the massive backlash that Twitch got with their recent um, thing where you couldn't have any, any types of advertisements or any external advertisements or any sponsors on your Twitch stream at all thank god that that backlash was out and that twitch actually went back on that i was very fucking surprised but besides that twitch don't give a shit about their content creators they really do not so they're not going to do anything about this but they fucking should because embedding like this and view botting 
should be f pretty much fucking illegal on on the site and should be banned you should get permanently banned for faking your views like this because you're fucking with people's you're fucking with other people's ad revenue you're gonna you're leading towards the market being oversaturated by ads and you're taking away views and directory spots from people who actually fucking deserve it not dumb fucks like these not piece of shits like this and you know what as well i think i've said it a couple times but after reading on reddit a few times and researching a little bit on reddit your wiki's terrible as well your wiki's fucking shit i haven't viewed it or looked into it myself but from reading on reddit apparently your, your wiki's fucking shit so you people you shouldn't even be getting these 40 million clicks not only are you taking views away from people's other other people's twitches other people's twitch channels but you're also taking other people's time away of clicking on your wiki that's what you're doing as well so yeah i honestly think that twitch should do something about this they won't but it definitely should be a bigger problem than it already is especially if someone like this is embedding and view botting to this extreme it should definitely have something get done about it or at least brought to people's more people's attentions but that's it for me peace out